In the celestial tapestry of ancient Sumerian mythology, where gods and goddesses danced among the stars, there lived Antu, the revered goddess of the earth and the beloved wife of Anu, the king of the heavens. Antu's origins were shrouded in mystery, her birth a cosmic event that echoed through the void. From the primordial depths of the earth, she emerged as a radiant being, her form shimmering with the essence of the soil and the vitality of all living things. Her name, Antu, meant heaven, a testament to her celestial connection and her role as the bridge between the earthly and the divine. As the goddess of the earth, Antu held dominion over all that grew and flourished upon its surface. She was the patroness of agriculture, nurturing the crops and ensuring bountiful harvests. Farmers and shepherds alike invoked her name, seeking her favor and protection for their livelihoods. Her touch brought fertility to the land, transforming barren fields into verdant oases. But Antu's influence extended beyond the realm of the physical. She was also the goddess of wisdom and knowledge, her mind a vast repository of ancient secrets and cosmic truths. Scholars and scribes sought her guidance, hoping to unlock the mysteries of the universe and gain insight into the divine. Her wisdom flowed like a gentle stream, nourishing the minds of those who sought it. As the wife of Anu, Anta played a pivotal role in the celestial hierarchy. She was the queen of the heavens, her presence illuminating the celestial court. Together with Anu, she presided over the affairs of the gods, offering counsel and support. Their union was a symbol of the harmonious balance between the heavens and the earth, a reflection of the cosmic order. Antu's beauty was legendary, her form as radiant as the sun. Her hair cascaded down her shoulders like a silken waterfall, shimmering with the colors of the rainbow. Her eyes held the wisdom of ages, reflecting the depths of the earth and the vastness of the heavens. Her voice was like the gentle whisper of the wind, carrying messages of love and guidance. Despite her celestial status, Antu remained deeply connected to the mortal realm. She often descended to earth, disguised as a mortal woman, to walk among her people and witness their struggles and triumphs. She listened to their prayers, offering comfort and hope to those in need. Her presence brought solace to the weary and inspiration to the downtrodden. One day, as Antu walked among the mortals, she encountered a young shepherd named Enki. Enki was a kind and compassionate soul, his heart filled with love for his flock and the land. Antu was drawn to his gentle spirit and his unwavering faith in the divine. As they spent time together, Antu and Enki fell deeply in love. Their bond transcended the boundaries of heaven and earth, a testament to the power of love to unite even the most disparate of beings. However, their love was forbidden, for it violated the celestial laws that forbade gods from consorting with mortals. Undeterred, Antu and Enki continued to meet in secret, their love growing stronger with each stolen moment. But their affair could not remain hidden forever. Anu, enraged by his wife's betrayal, banished Enki from the heavens and cursed him to wander the earth as a mortal. Antu was heartbroken by her husband's decision, but she knew that she could not defy the will of the gods. She remained in the heavens, her heart forever longing for her beloved Enki. Yet, her love for him never wavered, and she continued to watch over him from afar, protecting him from harm and guiding his path. As the centuries passed, Anta's legend grew, her name whispered in reverence by generations of mortals. She became a symbol of love, wisdom, and the enduring connection between the heavens and the earth. Temples were built in her honor, and her image adorned countless works of art and literature. And so, Antu, the goddess of the earth and the wife of Anu, lived on in the hearts and minds of her people, her legacy a testament to the power of love, the wisdom of the ages, and the enduring bond between the divine and the mortal.